When I was, thanks. When I was 11 years old, my mom had a best friend named Kathy Unger and Kathy had a daughter named Allison and she was one of my sister's best friends and, you know, they all became friends. So Kathy Unger was into all things kind of like metaphysical and woo woo, right? And she gives my mom a copy of a book about Edgar Casey that's called The Sleeping Prophet. And anything that my mom reads, my sister and I read because we're all voracious readers, we love to read. So I start reading this book and it talks about how Edgar Casey would go into trance and then he would start bringing back information from the Akashic records. And I was just fascinated, like it resonated with me. I'm like, why do I feel like I know the Akashic records? Anyway, really, really powerful stuff. So the only place that I think you can get your records read is if like you go to India and I didn't have any plans to go to India. So I was like, Akashic records, very cool, but probably not this lifetime. Scroll forward from 51 years ago to 2017. And my girlfriend, Tiffany, posts on Facebook and she's like, hey, I just got trained to read the Akashic Records. And I was like, she said, I need to practice on people. You know, drop me a line. I literally called her on the phone and I was like, Tiff, you have to read my records. Oh my God, please, please, please. One of my indulgences, chocolate milk. Cold chocolate milk to me is, is nectar from heaven. So she, she reads my Akashic Records. She confirms things that I've always believed. I'm literally crying my eyes out. And I was like, how did you learn to do this? And she said, well, there's a woman named Linda Howe. And she wrote like the quintessential book called How to Read the Akashic Records. Here, I happen to have it in my room. I found it. This is the Akashic Bible. At least it was for me. How to Read the Akashic Records by Linda Howe. This is Linda. And so I start following her on Facebook and this, so Tiffany, Tiffany probably read my records in like the summer of 2017. And then I, I'm following Linda and in November of 2017, she announced that she's going to do a training teaching people how to read the Akashic records. And Tiffany had learned from someone who 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 had learned from Linda. So she was like five degrees of separation from Linda. But Linda was offering a course at the time. I thought it was ridiculously expensive, but I paid for it. It was $850 to spend three months studying directly with Linda Howe to learn how to read the Akashic Records. So I signed up right away. And we did this really, really intense training. Oh, Laura Lee. Yay. One of our favorite people. Hi, beautiful. So I do this training with Linda Howe. We meet twice a week two hours with her, intense, intense. And then we meet with one, two of her students on the on the weekend for a couple hours. And there are 48 of us in the program all over the world. And it's on a platform very much like Zoom. And Spirit shows me that someday I'm going to be teaching like this. I'm going to be teaching on a platform with a little screen <laughs> on a computer. And I'm like, that'll never happen. And here I am now, right? So I learned to read the Akasha Gretchen the very first time that I go in they start jumping up and down and they start screaming at me, halls of a menti, halls of a menti, halls of a menti. And I'm scared out of my mind. I don't know what the fuck is happening. So I close the records and I'm like, oh. and I, I reached to Linda and I go, what happened? And she said, well, obviously they're really excited to see you. And I'm like, what are the halls of a menti? And she said, well, why don't you search on Google? So I search on Google and the halls of a menti are mentioned by Thoth the Atlantean as the place that the, Akashic records were held in Atlantis. And I like all my engines are firing. I'm like, this is, my, this is my jam. This is my shit. Oh my God. Atlantis, Akashic records, you know, Emerald tablets. So I then like dive into this whole thing. And one of the things that they tell me, I go back in, they start to talk to me. They say, oh, welcome back, beloved. You are a guardian of the records. And I'm like, what does that mean? And they said, you're here to teach others how to read the Akashic Records. And I was like, how the fuck am I going to do that? And they said, you're going to use the prayer that you were given by Linda. You know, she's made it pub public domain. It's here in the back of the book. And, you know, you're going to teach people. And I was like, okay. So then I start like reading all these different books on the Akashic Records. And 
students start coming. So I now have a signature program that I teach. Um, both Laura Lee and uh, Priyanka have taken this class. I literally teach people how to read the Akashic Records. I teach them how to release trapped emotions, which then opens up their clairs for clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, claircognizance to further enhance their ability to read the Akashic Records. Everyone has access to the Akashic Records. Everyone has access to their own Akashic Records and with permission, you can go in and read the Akashic Records of others. If you go in without permission, don't do that. Just don't do that. So most recently I got turned onto these books by this man named Lars Mule. He's got the Law of Light. He's got the Gate of Light. He's got the Sacred uh, Initiation Numbers, which are all about the 22 letters of the Aramaic and Hebrew alphabet. The Aramaic and Hebrew alphabet, I just learned this from my Kabbalah teacher because he speaks both Aramaic and Hebrew. So the letters are the same, but the front of the letters is Aramaic and the back of the letters is Hebrew. Isn't that crazy? And there are the 22 paths that are in the Kabbalistic tree of life. And then there's this book called The Wisdom of the Broken Heart. And there happens to be a chapter on, you guessed it, the Emerald Tablets. It's called The Emerald Tablet and the Robe of Glory. And then I, it was suggested that I get another book on the Emerald Tablets the other day by M. Doriel. So all of this in the Akashic Records, and Jesus talks about, Jesus makes mention of the Akashic Records eight times in A Course in Miracles. So basically, the Akashic Records are this, it's like the cloud of every thought you've ever had, every word you've ever spoken, every action you've ever taken, every moment that your senses have been nuanced by something you hear, something you smell, something you taste, something you feel, everything through all lifetimes. And here's the deal, it's happening simultaneously. Now, our linear mind, our eyes that see outward into duality, go, here's the past, here's the present, here's the future. It doesn't exist like that. There's a brilliant guy that I've discovered recently on TikTok. His name is, he calls himself DG Mindset. And he said, look, everything is, is like parallel happening at the same time. But whatever you're focusing on is the one that you're lighting up. So one of the things that Jesus is going to be teaching in this year long program that we're doing is how to go into the future, how to go into the past and to bring, let's say, healing or resolution to where you have blocked yourself and said, I will not allow myself to feel this emotion or to choose, you know, I want to, I want to make $1.6 million. Well, let's go sit with the $1.6 million version of you. Oh, there she is. Well, what does she look like? What does she do? Where does she live? How does she think? How does she feel? And light that lifetime up. And then everything goes in that direction. So the Akashic records give you the opportunity to do all of that. I could talk about this shit all day. I swear to God. I love this so much. So in the field of the Akashic Records, you have these beings that come to assist you. They are known as the masters, the teachers, the loved ones, and the lords of the records. When Linda was teaching us, she said there are four lords of the records. And I'm like, oh, okay, you know, taking her word as gospel. And I go in and all of a sudden I meet seven and I'm like, I met seven and other people are like, oh yeah, I've seen seven. And then other people said they've seen 10. So everybody has a very different experience in the records. Some people see in the records, some people hear in the records. Some people feel in the records. Some people just see colors. Some people don't see anything. Some people have their, their cognizance open and they just know information from spirit. But if you're here, if you've been drawn here, you're here because one of the, one of the beings that I'm connected to, I've channeled over 20 ascended masters, has brought you forth because there's something that they want you to know. They want you to feel, experience, or remember about the Akashic Records. Now, Priyanka is this extraordinary young woman. She lives in Canada. She works with me. Laura Lee used to work with me. She's still of my heart. They both are. Anybody that, not everybody, but most people that have come to work for me just go into my heart and they stay there forever. And um, Priyanka, one day, Three and a half years ago, I posted in a group with like 400,000 people. And I said, hey, I'm looking for a virtual assistant, someone who is psychic, someone who will understand me from the inside out. 
and nine people applied. Raquel was one of them. And I was really drawn to her. And I, so I said to her, are you psychic? And she goes, oh, no, 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 I am not psychic. And I'm like, spirit says to me, yes, she is. <laughs> I said, okay. And uh, I said, what made you apply? And she said, because I understand people from the inside. I'm, I'm pretending I have an Indian accent, like her Indian accent. <laughs> How am I doing? Pretty well, huh? <laughs> no, horrible. <laughs> Anyway, so Priyanka comes and joins me for these master classes on Fridays, and she goes in to her psychic world because she's very, very psychic, and she just she thinks she isn't, but she really is, and she will pick someone. Now, another extraordinary reader of the Akashic Records is Miss Laura Lee. Laura Lee is unbelievably gifted. Unbelievably gifted. One of the things we do in another class that I teach called Clearing the Clairs is we go in and we measure your clairs. We measure your level of clairaudience, clairvoyance, claircognizance, clairsentience. And then we move you up the emotional scale. And the more you release the trapped energy, the things that you've been afraid to talk about, the things you haven't wanted to feel, the more your clairs open up. And I've just discovered a new technique called the emotion code. There's three parts, the emotion code, the body code, and the belief code. And I got the book and I'm going to get myself certified. I have 31 certifications. I'm like enough when it's obnoxious at this point. And I'm like, Except I need these three more. So that's happening this year. I'm very, very excited. I love growing and learning because if you're not practicing what you're preaching, like get the fuck out. You know, like, don't be that hypocrite. I'm not that hypocrite. <sighs> um, I think that's it. So the Akashic Records are my great love. I have this girlfriend named Matanya, and Matanya is an extraordinary artist. I'm going to show you some art that I purchased from her. Um, yes, I do walk the talk. So, th by the way, this is a painting that another student of mine gave to me as a gift. It's Jesus leading us all into the garden. And then, so this is this is Hathor, and one day I see this painting on line in a group called Alpha Farm that my mentor, Melanie and Lair is running. And this artist, Matanya Lennings says, I've been painting this painting. And I look at the painting and I say, that's Hathor. And that's my cat, Astro, same green eyes in front of the pyramids. So I reach out to Matanya. I said, hey, Matanya, my name's Lynn. I live in Virginia. And uh, she lives in the Netherlands. I said, that painting is Hathor. Is it available for sale? And she says, I don't know who the painting is. I need to ask the painting. Let me get back to you. And I thought, oh, one of my fellow weirdos. She's talking to the painting. Woohoo. So she gets back to me a few days later and she said, why, yes, it is Hathor. And yes, you may purchase the painting. So we make arrangements. I purchased the painting. She ships it from the Netherlands. Gorgeous. A couple months later, I see her painting and now she's painting this one. And it's Mary Magdalene. And I reach out to her and I go, hey, Matanya. That's Mary Magdalene. Is that available? And she goes, I got to ask the painting. So she comes back and she goes, it is Mary Magdalene. And yes, she would love you to have her. So we make arrangements for me to purchase this one. Then Jesus, who I regularly channel, goes, okay, commission her to paint me. And I'm like, oh my God. I go, Matanya, Jesus wants you to paint him. And she's like, okay, I can do that. So she has this gift. She's never been trained as an artist. She just has this gift where they come to her, they show her the image. And she just starts painting. She, she's like, I just got a blank canvas. So he, he came through and that was a whole upgrade. So here's his painting. So these three paintings live with me in my bedroom. And a friend who was here recently, Michael Edwards, is visiting. Canada. And uh, we're both Laura Lee and Priyanka. Some of my favorite people live in Canada. I don't know how that turned out. I mean, a lot of my favorite people live in Canada. Good Lord. Willem, Linda. You need to come Linda. here. Well, you I'll visit, but you know, yeah. I'm planning on moving to Palm Springs and, and the Netherlands. Anyway, so Mike comes in through me and he's like, oh my God, that energy is too intense. It is really, really intense. But they talk about the Akashic Records all the time. So there's a girl. Her name is Vicky Benecki. Vicky does motion code work. She does an emotion code class with me and a session with me. And she opens up something. She does seven individual healings. And I come out of there and I'm like bawling my eyes out. And all of a sudden I hear Yeshua and Magdalene like I've never heard them before. And Yeshua says to me, those who have the ears to hear, let them hear. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, I get it. And Magdalene says to me, and those who have the eyes to see, let them see. The more that we release the trapped emotions, 
that we have stored inside of the Akashic Records, the more our psychic abilities continue to open, open, and open. So I'm very excited about that. Anyway, today, one of you will be chosen by the beloved Priyanka, and I'm already feeling guidance moving in. So I am a psychic, a medium, and a full body trance channel. And what happens is I say a prayer. Part of it is said aloud. Part of it is said silently. Spirit moves in. And then I open your Akashic records and the information will come forth. Whew, whatever's coming in is really powerful. So Priyanka is the one who chooses using her magnificent psychic abilities. She still may be a little bit in denial about them, but I'm not. She's psychic as fuck, right, Laura Lee? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I, I got Debbie. Debbie? Debbie, you ready to have your Akashic Records read, my love? Um, yes, I... Thank okay. you. I, I love listening to you. We have not really met... But I could listen to your voice all day and I am so connected. I I almost felt that thank you. I'm thank you. I'm You're so welcome. grateful and excited. You're just welcome. and and I, I mean I was gonna stay on the call just to listen to you. Whether I mean just because I let I, I love to hear the way your knowledge comes and Everything makes sense to me when you're talking Thank and you. like all the, all the top level interest, like the, maybe the bottom level interest that I have, you know, that's just all these little interests, you, the, those interests, like you're a hundred times into, and I find it fascinating that I have that connection with you. Thank you. Thank you. If people are drawn to me, you know, I'm, I'm barely marketing and advertising. We send out a newsletter. I have a group. I, you know, I throw up a TikTok every once and again, my staff would love me to do more. I'm sure spirit would love me to do more. And then my mom goes, let's go shopping. And I'm like, let's go shopping. <laughs> you know? So I'm here to be of service to spirit. My entire life is of service to spirit. So this is my right hand and this ring was put on over 30 years ago. And this is my marriage to God. I am I am divorced. I have a fluffy gray cat. He's 13 and a half years old. It's the longest, most successful relationship I've had with a male. He's fabulous. He has gorgeous green eyes and fluffy hair. And, you know, I'm good. I'm in menopause. I could give a fuck about anything else, you know. It's fun to flirt every once in a while. But yeah, I love I I love my life. Like, this is my life, you know? Debbie, I need your full legal name. I need it how it, it how you would sign a legal document, like your taxes. Deborah M. Thornton. What does the M stand for? Marie. So is your full legal name Deborah Marie? Yes, Deborah Marie Thornton. Okay, very good. So I'm going to go ahead and open your Akashic Records. Ooh. And um, I want you to think of some questions that you would like to know. You can ask something that you, why do I love this thing so much? Why do I hate this thing so much? Why is Paris my favorite city? Why do I hate Germany? Hold on, I think my cat's meowing because he wants water. Um, you know, why, like you can, you can ask about a relation is he meowing mom i know but i'm in a meeting so you got to come in so i can give you your water Sorry about that. We call it caddis interruptus. He's outside, but he's got his bucket. 
Okay. Okay. Deborah Marie Thornton. Okay. So don't tell me what the questions are. Just be with them. I'm going to open your records. One of your master's teachers, loved ones, or one of the Lord's records is going to come through. Oh, we do have a strong connection. I can already feel them. Hoo-wee. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay, here we go. And so we, so we do acknowledge the forces of light, asking for guidance, direction, and courage to know the truth as it is revealed for our highest good and the highest good of everyone connected to us. O oh, Holy Spirit of God, help me to know Debbie in light of the Akashic records, to see Debbie through the eyes of the Lords of the Records and enable me to share the wisdom and compassion that the masters, teachers, and loved ones of Debbie have for her. Mm. 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 The records are now open. Mm. Greetings, beloved one. Mm. Greetings. Mm. Beloved, we have called you forth. There is a question that is very pertinent for you. Come, beloved, blessed being, come forth. Ask of us and allow us to be of service to you. <clears throat> How may we be of assistance? This question has come to me and I am surprised about it. I'm guided to ask you about my adoption in this lifetime and how my biological uh, my biological being and my adoptive being I don't know how to answer. I don't know how to ask this question, but how do they intersect? There's so, I, I'm, there's something about my adoption in this lifetime that I'm supposed to know. And Lynn, I've got to tell you, I'm not talking like my ego's not talking right now. I mean, it might be, but this is coming from a place that I don't reach very often. Mm -hmm. Beloved one, we must take you back six incarnations to a lifetime that you lived in France. There was a young woman who had a child and she loved this child more than life. There was an accident that occurred. This child was killed and she was devastated. There was a promise that was made to never allow harm to come to this child again. There has been an intersection, shall we say, of incarnations. 
understand that there is a joining of these souls together you will understand that while there is a being that birthed you there is another being that has raised you yes there was a way in which you were given a life that had a certain DNA sequential coding, but yet needed to be raised by another, needed to have the life of the adopted being, shall we say, that yes. would not be the life that would have been lived with the birth mother. Mm -hmm. The only way for you to accomplish this, for you to have union once again, understand that the one who gave you birth agreed to but yet the one who raised you is the child that you had lost. So there is this deep, deep connection that feels otherworldly at times, would you agree? Not, and with, not with my adoptive mother, but with my father. And really with my whole adoptive family, aunts, uncles, cousins. Understand, beloved, that what you experience with the adoptive mother are shades of jealousy. Yeah. She was the one who, beloved, there is place where she wants to be the centerpiece she wants to be the one who is focused upon and you have stolen that light from her she has not forgiven the death for you had promised in this incarnation in france that no harm should ever come to her she was trampled by a horse and there is an aspect of you that carries a sense of guilt But yet there is a love between the two of you. It sits underneath all of the drama. And you have not yet been able to resurrect this, shall we say. The work and that is done is that of forgiveness, beloved. The forgiving of oneself and the forgiving of the ways in which she wanted you for her own, and yet you have not been hers. You understand this. And that's why she is so angry with her now. Yes. I is so angry with me because she is in harm. She is living the last years of her life with severe mental anguish. Yes. That I that no one can protect her from. Beloved, for you to say to her, I apologize. I am sorry that you were killed. For you to say to her, I forgive you for the ways in which you have held on to this anger through all of these lifetimes, her soul will hear these words. Okay. I forgive you for the anguish that you hold on to, that you inflict, the rage that lives inside of you. And forgive yourself for having designed this entire scenario, for understand that she is reflective, indeed beloved, of an aspect of self. This 
will resolve. There will be peace. They look upon you as the she on you as a curse. She looks upon me as a curse. Yes. Yes. Sure did. Yeah. Yes. She had very different desires. She wanted to be the one who would be lauded and praised for having raised a child who was adopted. And you received more love than she wanted you to. Do you understand? Yes. Beloved, forgive yourself. For this is a scenario that you had desired to experience. And what there is for you to do now, beloved, is to allow yourself to feel all of the feelings and all of the emotions. What you wanted was to be loved by this being, but she has not yet been able to forgive you. Breathe. And it was... Breathe. Continue. And it was worse for my sister. Is there a connection with my sister that I need? To better understand and heal. Your sister in many ways has felt that she was the one that was left out in the cold, shall we say. She was. She was. Indeed. Again, beloveds, we choose every contract that we experience. You could grant her an apology as well. She has not wanted to blame you, but there is still an aspect of her that feels were it not for you, she would have been loved more. Forgiveness all around, beloved one. We thank you for heeding our invitation. We thank you for coming forth. You have much to remember. And you have much to learn. This beloved oracle has much for you. You two are indeed connected as well. Too many incarnations. Beloved, know that through this conversation, the healing has begun. There will be resolution. Is there more that we can share with you, precious being? Absolutely. What questions do you have? Um, anything that you would like to share? Beloved, this is akin to you walking into a library and saying, which book shall I read? Okay, okay. Um, we will speak again. You will grant yourself the ability to communicate with us directly. I see. Okay. It's coming for you. So I have a happy question now. I, I think I... My daughter is adopted. She was born in China. And I believe that something absolutely beautiful has happened 
in other lifetimes with her that I just want to say I am so deeply grateful for in this lifetime. I, my ego says, how in the hell did you get such an amazing being to be your daughter? And I, I want to express that to the records. Mm, beloved, understand that all beings that come into contact with you are aspects of you. The beauty and the joy that you have in this relationship is the duplication of the love that you have for the child that was killed. You've been able to live out that love through this child. We are given opportunity upon opportunity upon opportunity to fully experience what is meant for us, for what is meant for us will come to us. Your appreciation and your gratitude is well received. Beloved, forgive and understand that all that is being held on to are pockets of energy, shall we say, that we say, this is too intense, this is too much, this is too fast, this is too soon. I cannot experience this. And all you are meant to do is to stand and allow the wind to come and allow the water to come and allow the sun to come. Allow your feet to sink into the dirt, into the sand, into the water. Allow yourself to experience all of life. And through that, you are of the greatest service to source itself. When you say, I must not, I cannot, I will not, I shall not, you have closed yourself off from the very miracle of the experience of what it is to have this human existence. So allow yourself to embrace all. Say yes to all things. Know that we are with you, guiding you, whispering to you, and sometimes shouting to you. We are always here, and we always will be. We thank you for this divine communication. And indeed, we shall speak with you again. Mm -hmm. Greetings and salutations, beloved. This transmission is complete. Oh. Okay, hold on. I got to say a closing prayer. I would like to thank the masters, teachers, and loved ones for their love and compassion. I would like to thank the lords of the Akashic Records for their point of view. I would like to thank the Holy Spirit of Light for all knowledge and healing. Oh, the records are now closed. Amen. The records are now closed. Amen. The records are now closed. Amen. Beautiful. This is recorded, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's recorded. It goes on YouTube. It goes inside of my group. So you'll be able to have access to it. And if you want to, um, I think, I think once it goes on YouTube, you can capture it there. Yeah. How was it? Um, mind i um hold on i have to turn off an alarm you look like you're in shock you okay yeah i i am okay i am okay um so it feels no pun intended but it feels like six degrees of separation mm. um, and when you go back six incarnations ago to France, my birth mother has French lineage. Mm -hmm. And when, when I found that out, it, it was kind of a knowing, well, of course. Well, of, I, I, I don't know why I thought, 
and that this was 20 years ago. Um, so the France, the, and I'm very connected to France. So that made sense. And um, the work that I've done about my mother, um, some of what you shared, I already knew, but mm. the degrees to which we took it um, took me where I needed to go. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Happy to be of service, my love. Um, Matiko, I have a student. Who, her name is Linda Mackey, and she's practicing on people. She's learning to read the Akashic Records. She, she's practicing on people for free right now. And Spirit's telling me that they want me to connect the two of you so you can have a reading with her. Okay. Right. So thank you. I'll do that. I think she was in the I think she was in the channeling Jesus class with us. Oh really? she was the older gray haired lady with the glasses. Oh our we I call her the master. Yes, she is the master. She was one of the teachers of, of Jesus, so yeah, for sure. Um Debbie, it was my honor. Christina, thank you for being here. Laura Lee, I love you. Priyanka, I can't live without you, so that's easy. And uh, I just love you all, and I thank you for being here. Whew, they're still they're still circling. I, yeah, I, Debbie, it's amazing. It make me cry. It's just so oh. very emotional. The the records are saying that Debbie's going to learn how to channel the records on her own as well. Ooh, <laughs> it's beautiful. I have a class that's coming up. It starts on the seventeenth, which I think is next week. Um, it's a beautiful eight week program in which I teach all kinds of psychic tools for communicating with spirit, opening the clairs, uh, how to go into the Akashic records, how to do healing in the Akashic records, which is incredible. And, um, I have a year long curriculum. I'm not teaching it this year. We're teaching something else this year. So I'll probably pick that up next year, but I am going to teach, um, quantum, I call it quantum Akashic healing quantum akashic transformation we're going to be doing that four times this year so if not january we'll pick it up again uh in april so if that's anything that you want to know about reach out and i can give you that information check out the website yeah all right i'm a little spacey so i'm gonna go i i have to go find something to eat but anyway it was a pleasure i love you all madly thank you you're very thank very you. welcome it's my delight Laura Lee, such a sweet pleasure to see you, baby. I had two of Melanie's books and I sent one to you and one to Priyanka because I had promised you guys that forever. I was so proud of myself. I mailed all my stuff out. Go completions. Woohoo. And I, I have to admit, I may not give that chocolate to my aunt. I bought some chocolate today and I may end up eating it myself. Just saying. Just saying. It's entirely possible. My mother makes cakes and every time there's a slice of the cake that's missing we call it grandma's crack cake and we're like mom what happened to the cake and she goes well i had to make sure it was good <laughs> anyway i love you all thank you so much for being here thank you to the masters teachers and loved ones thank you to the heavenly realm thank you to all my angels and my guides i love what i do and i love my life and i love all of you bye my darlings thank you you're welcome.